Hey everyone. Just gonna let this load up for a second. Uh, we're gonna talk about a very interesting topic um, that I've been debating on uh, addressing for a while, whether I would just let it let it go or um, actually bring it to attention, but I, I will now. So I will just wait for just one little minute. How's everyone doing? How's everyone's Friday night going? I just got home. I've had a very busy day. Um, <clears throat> June and Athena are eating dinner right now uh, that the nanny prepared. She's amazing. Doing a great job with the girls, and then they'll probably be asleep um, in ooh, hopefully by 8 or 8.30. So, lovely Friday night. You guys can hear Athena crying in the background. She is starting to show her will and uh, showed a little personality. That's getting about that time. So, um, yeah. All right. So we're going to get right into this now that um, um, we are talking about this. Uh, but essentially, most of you know that I'm going through a divorce and um, we are splitting time with the girls. And the, a common question that I get, a common criticism that I get, and a constant um, comments on my page are, why are the girls in your lives so much? And I'm going to address that today. Um, and um, I've never asked my followers for anything. And um, the, many of you have reached out, how do I help, how do I support? I can see that um, you are a great dad. Like people ask me to open up my star button. I'm a little, I'm a little reluctant to do that. What's going on with Athena in there? And there's a reason why my kids are not here during this conversation. I'm a little reluctant to open up my stars button because I don't really want to ask for anything. Your guys' viewership is, you know, it's, it's awesome, it's great. Um, but why is my kids in the, um, in the spotlight so much? It's to protect myself, to protect the kids. There are many bloggers, primarily in the regions of Africa, Nigeria, that are doing everything they can to destroy my reputation. So I am getting many allegations of child abuse. I'm getting many allegations that I'm a bad father. And I'm getting many allegations of just everything. Like I'm drowning June in a bottle. That I'm... You name it. It's, it goes as far as to say some people are accusing me of sexually molesting my children. So... Um, the only way I fight this in an intelligent, intellectually way is to show the truth. And the truth is, is I love my kids. Um, and the camera does not lie. And most importantly, kids do not lie. So I go live with my kids primarily to show and to fight that narrative that people are trying to put out there about me. There are many, there are many. There's probably six to eight active bloggers that are building their entire platforms on trying to discredit me as a father, trying to discredit me as a doctor. And I can do, I can show the truth. I can show exactly how I interact with my girls, how I'm, when I'm playing with my girls, it's real. It's exactly how I play with them off camera as on camera. In fact, I play with them probably more off camera. So that's why I'm doing this. That's why my kids are in my, in my um, that's why I started doing this, to be honest with you. Um, so what has it turned into? It's turned into an amazing support community that people can see that how special my kids are. I mean, every parent says that, but my little girls are obviously, they have a lot of bright, positive energy to bring into this world. And they bring up a lot of positive memories between 
I get people reaching out to me all the time, being in, you remind me of my dad, how you play, you remind me of these fond memories from childhood, and um, that kind of goes along with my life mission, which is to to educate people, to educate the people on my on my profession, um, as far as what I can do and, and what we, you can do for yourself to eliminate back pain, headaches, that kind of stuff. And that's what that's what I really truly want to be making content on. But unfortunately, with all this background noise of people trying everything they can to discredit who I am as a person, so much so that they're, you know, they're threatening to call the board on me if I do cranial sacral on my own daughter. Um, it's, it's literally insane. Um, most of them think that they're untouchable. And the truth is, is I'm just, I'm just, I have all the evidence I'm just waning until later because they're not my primary mission. My primary mission is to provide my daughters with a stable, happy, emotionally stable home. And that's what I'm doing and that's what I'm sharing with you guys. So, you know, like, <clears throat> so how can you help me? Because so many people have asked how you can help me. I don't want your money. I don't want anything from you. The only thing that you can do is help further spread this message of I'm a dad playing with my daughters. And that those narratives, because those of you who know who they are, are actively going to their pages and telling the truth because they're spreading many lies, many fabricated, made up lies. <clears throat> so, the more people that are out there protecting my little girls from these psychos, the more there is. You know, people, people always ask, well, why don't you just go offline? I've instructed to go offline. And I'm like, well, what, if I went offline, their narrative that they're trying to cre create goes unchallenged. So, I mean, I'm not a dumb person, I know, I know how this works. So if you're going to say bad things about me, fighting you face to face is not going to do anything. But I can show the truth. And the truth always prevails. And the truth always wins. So <clears throat> that is how you guys help me. How you help me? When I make content with my girls, share it. Share it to the world. That's how you help me. Because until they stop, I won't stop. Because I will not have my girls growing up reading these headlines. Stupid stuff. Like, um, June has a brain injury. Stuff like that. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff that I, like, and I'm not going to name their names because that's what they want. They want the attention. But, you guys know who they are. And you guys can protect my daughters from these crazy bloggers that are trying to do very nasty evil things and that's not okay so that's my message for the night i am going to play with my daughters and i will go live with them again later um am i enjoying the drama no i'm not enjoying the drama i'm actually just trying to make a living i'm just trying to do what I got to do as a father. Um, this has actually been the hardest year of my life. So no, I do not enjoy this drama. I enjoy moving forward and just doing what I have to do as a parent, as a business person, and for myself. So um, the more and more they choose to bash me, the more and, and spread lies, and it's straight up lies. Um, the more and more I'm going to fight back with the truth and, sh and when, when you have somebody that's being negative and toxic, the best way to fight them is with positivity because it drives them nuts. So I don't care what they say about me, but when you start talking about my daughters, I'm going to overwhelmingly outsmart you, which is by showing the truth. The truth doesn't lie. My kids and I love each other, and we will show that. We play, we have fun, 
Does June sometimes have tantrums? Absolutely. She's three years old. So that is my message for the night. And um, I've been thinking about this for a while. I'm just going to like leave it alone. But I'm not explaining myself. What I'm actually doing is asking for help. This is the first time you're going to hear. I don't ask for help. I don't ask for help much. Actually, I'm a giver and I, I don't ask for help. But I'm tired of these crazy false narratives by these bloggers. Um, simply because I left, I divorced someone that they're a fan of. Like, that's not fair. That's not okay. And it's not okay to bring my daughters into this when they're going to grow up reading these headlines that they know they're not true. And, and, then, and then their friends are going to read them. So share, not this content as much, but share the content with me playing with my daughters. Share it. Facebook, that's the way the algorithm, algorithms work. So that is my message for the night. I'm going to go back and have a great time with my girls and enjoy the rest of my night as much. And I know the bloggers are listening and I know their fans are listening. You guys are toxic. You guys are evil. You guys need to stop because I'm... It's not okay to come between a parent and their child without due cause, without a proper reason. I have given you no reason to ever question my ability to parent these two girls. So, um, not one, actually. Not a single one. So, yeah, a lot of you criticized me leaving after Athena was born. I left to protect my daughters from an unhealthy living environment. I did that for them. So that's your biggest criticism. I left. Yeah, I left because I needed to leave to protect June, most especially. So I'm, <clears throat> I'm a little emotional about this because it's, it's very frustrating when people are trying to make a father be a bad person when contrary everything that I've shown, everything that my daughters have shown you is the opposite. Kids, kids don't act. Kids are real. They don't have the idea of acting. They're being themselves. So that is all I have to say for that. Okay? I don't intend on addressing this again unless I have to. But uh, the bloggers that are watching this, there are consequences. And it doesn't matter what country you're in at all. It really doesn't. This is 2022. There's lawyers in every single country. I have lawyers in Nigeria, and I have lawyers anywhere else I need to get them to protect my daughters. So that's it, OK? I don't want you guys bashing my ex. I don't want you guys bashing anything. If you guys enjoy the interaction, view and share. If you don't, keep your mouth shut and don't spread hate and negativity. The world has way too much hate and negativity. We need more positivity, love, and that's what we need. And that's what I'm trying to do. Um, because I'm, I'm tired of the lies. I'm tired of the, the twisting of the narratives, the smear campaigns to let's destroy Dr. Dean, the arguing back and forth between bloggers that support me and bloggers that support my ex. It's not necessary. It's not good for my girls. It's not good for anyone. So that, whew. Okay, I'm glad I got that off that chest. I got, I got that off my chest because I've been like, like, just, like, just mad that this, this kind of stuff can happen in 2022 where, like, it's one thing in major Hollywood celebrities with the tabloids because everyone knows that's fake. On Facebook, people don't know what's fake and what's real. 
So therefore, I have to show you what's real. My, inter my loving interaction with my daughters is real, genuine, and it is some of the greatest times of my life. So, and also thank you for your viewership because your viewership has allowed me to spend more time with my daughters. It's made to offset my income so I can see less patients by choice to spend more time with them. That's a beautiful thing. Because before, I, honestly, I was working too much to support the family by myself. And um, that's, that's it. So I'm not going to address this anymore at all. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's getting to the point where people are losing their jobs. There's bloggers that are losing their jobs. People are calling each other's employers. People are going to call my board for something that I legally have every right to do within my scope. Like, call them. They're going to protect me. That's their job. Protect me and the public, and I have posed no harm to the public. I'm an educator. So, yes, there's no more Team Justin, Team Cora. I never promoted that in the first place. I never supported that. It's Team Athena in June. And if you're on their team, creating bigger problems between my ex and I, or with the bloggers, or anything, you're part of the problem. So I encourage all of you to be positive, loving, and share love, not hate. Okay? Okay? That's my, um, because this has got to be the, one of the most toxic stories on the internet right now. Am I responsible for part of that? Absolutely I am, and I own accountability for that. And I did what I had to do to protect myself. No excuses, nothing. I did what I had to do to protect myself, and that's it. So I don't want my daughters growing up in this um, kind of negative, toxic environment. And... And I'm encouraging all of you to help me out by sh sharing the content because I don't, really, I don't really care about being famous. I don't really care about followers. I don't care about any of that. The louder my voice gets that shows the truth, the more I can fight these toxic narratives that just are not true and not fair. And most importantly, it affects them. Um, and going offline and doing nothing isn't going to help them because it's just going to continue. It's just going to continue because it's become, a, it's become a very easy way to build followings. Let's bash Dr. Dean. Let's bash Dr. Dean. Fine. Bash Dr. Dean all you want, but don't bash me with my kids. Don't bash my kids. Don't, don't create... Don't try to create a hostile tech, t hostile environment between my kids and I. Don't try, to, don't try to make me out to be a bad parent, because I'm not. Am I perfect? No, I'm not perfect. And I will never be perfect, but I will strive to be perfect in everything that I do, because to be perfect is impossible. But if you're always striving, you're always going to be improving. So um, that's where I'm at. It's not affecting them now. The kids are just playing with me. It'll affect them in their teenage years. And I'll be able to show them these videos of how we were playing, and I'll be able to explain them to them. But um, right now, I have no choice. I have to keep showing the truth. And honestly, I need the income. I need the income because of, of all the lawyer fees and everything else. So that's it. So I'm going to get out of it. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go live with my kids just in a little bit. And those of you that support me, every chance you get, share the content. Because that will make the, the truth louder. And, like, 
this is not the, this is not exactly what I planned for. I did not plan to have a huge social media following in any capacity. I was always the man. I was always the man and the strategist behind the curtains, projecting someone else forward. But uh, now I'm doing it for myself, for my girls. <clears throat> so, have a beautiful night. I'll be live with my girls just here in a little bit. Um, we're, I don't know what we're gonna do. I just bought a bike and a buggy so I can take them down to the beach and go for a bike ride. So I might go for a quick bike ride here in a bit. That'll be fun. <clears throat> Alrighty. Well, that being said, thank you all for all your love and support that you guys have given. Thank you all for um, enjoying the positivity and bright energy that my two little girls have to share with the world, and they have a lot. And I do intend on, excuse me, I do intend on, if they want this kind of social media life, they'll, ha they'll have it as a tool to leverage into everything that they do in life. And um, if you leverage it right, and you are smart and strategic, which I hope to teach them, they'll be able to use it for whatever they're passionate about. And that's, that's, what, that's what you have to do as a father. That's what you have to do as a parent, is set up your kids for success based on whatever means and tools that you have. And right now, this is a tool that I have. And I'm going to use it because I have it, and I'm going to harness it for my girls. I don't do things for myself very well. I'm not very good at receiving, but I can give to them. Something I'm actually in therapy for is how to receive more. That's actually what I'm in therapy for the most, is how do I allow myself to receive from other people more, because I'm so used to giving, because of my profession, being a father, that sort of thing. So that is it. Thank you all for the love and the support. Share, make this voice, make this, make the truth loud. And the toxic people will be drowned out by positivity. That's my message for the night. Good night. <laughs>